Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we saw how we can edit or delete an item from our list. So in this video, I want us to show a message. So when we edit an item or when we delete an item, so a user can know if it was successful or not. So to do that, Django ships with their messages app. So they have this messages framework. So basically the way it works is for every request, we can pretty much stick there some messages that when, when the page is rendered, we can show these messages to the user's screen. Now we can show like info messages, success messages, warning messages, error messages. Now the only difference between these is the styling. So we want to make sure that we have like style utilities for, for info, success, and all these. Now, since we are using semantic UI, they have this message, basically the message uh, component that you can use. So you see, we can supply a success. For them, they call it negative error. They call it success, they call it positive. Then error, they call it error or negative. So they have info, they have warning, which I think also exist here. That means you can use these classes here because they already, like we, we already have the style at least for info and so things like info and warning. So let's go ahead and put it to use and see how we can use it. So we need first, so we need first have a way of correcting all the messages we need to show on the screen. Now the quickest way to do that is to use a partial. So we're gonna go to our templates. So here, where we have partials, we're gonna create another file for messages, .html. So here for every request, we can have access to the messages. So right now, I'm going to first check if the current template that's being rendered has some messages to show to the user. So you can say if messages, so let's end if of course. So now in here, if there are messages, then we want to loop over them and show them in a list. So we can have a for loop. So for message in messages, then you want to have an end for so then whenever we have a message we need to show them in a div so here you can have div we we'll have some classes to, to basically represent how we want it to look we'll use some semantic classes so first let's have ui there then we can pass message there okay so for each of these messages now we can show them so you can access each, me each message from message like this so we can do message dot text but when you do this it's the equivalent so you can do message there and now we can go to where we want to show the messages so let's say we want to show the message here on the home so when a user deletes we show it here when they edit we show it on the detail so we need to put to include this partial in those templates so you can go in the to do templates then we want to go even in in this to do for create because when they create we want to say created so here we can include we already know how to include so we can say include so it's gonna be partials so remember we start with underscore then we are including messages.html so let's also include this in the oh this should be in the index so let's take that to the index too so on top of the table over here can have it we also need to this should be messages by the way because that's how we named the file so let's also go to the detail so to do detail should be messages so let's save this now if we came back here and try to do something let's say we edited this let's complete it you see that nothing happens and that's because when we edit we don't basically add that message to, to the messages so what we want to do is when we edit i'm gonna go to uh, views so whenever we edit successfully over here let's first import messages so from django dot contrib dot messages import add message so whenever we edit successfully over here we can say add message so it takes in request then the level so to get the level so the level has to be a constant that django knows so the, instead of us importing it like this let's go ahead and import messages as a whole because you're going to be using more things from there so now down here we can say messages dot add message so now this is going to be a success so i want to do messages dot success then here we can put our message so we can say to do update success and save 
okay so now if we come here refresh let's go to edit let's edit this you see we get to do update success so let's go ahead and add a message when we create a to do so let's do tests let's do this save we also want to add a message here when we create so it's gonna be quite the same so i'm gonna copy this and go to the create page to the create view so here we can say to do created successfully all right and save so now if we came created one new um, test let's save it you see you get the message to do a created successfully but one thing you will notice up front is we need this to be green so we need it to look like, like this like we said this can be success and in the Django framework so these here are tags eh? which means that every time a message like this is created we have access to the current tag it is using so if it is success we can basically apply a success class to this message of ours so we can go back to our messages so over here so over here we can use message dot tags like this okay and uh, normally if we are not using like this template if we wanted to show success we would put success here so now that means that with the django framework with the django messages framework it already knows that we're going to be most likely having classes that will be success info error like that so now if we do that and save here let's go ahead and edit again so if we save you see that now it is looking good okay so that's good let's go ahead and complete up the one for the edit so if we said here you see that now this works fine so let's go ahead and view and work on the delete one so delete click yes and you see that now we should show it here so when we delete we also need to show that message so i'm gonna basically copy this so you see that most of the things are going to be the same so this is gonna be to do deleted okay so when we create i hope we have already added a create yes if we come to one let's delete it click yes so you get the message now if we created a new one and uh, added a description and saved you see that now we also get the message okay so that's gonna do it for now uh, feel free to take a look at the documentation if you have any special use case that it's not working i know that with bootstrap you might need to change something in your settings with py to cater for the danger error because bootstrap uses danger at least semantic uses error with django knows but you want to replace error with danger if you're using bootstrap or you can create your custom class for error doesn't, doesn't matter but yeah feel free to look up online if you have bootstrap i have some specific series you can check on the channel and see how we did it in some other projects that use bootstrap so that's gonna do it for now if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video